I spoke to an overseas woman and uh, she told me that they are taught to respect men in their country. They're taught to respect and let men guide and lead. You know, they just said that they taught that way. And um, I kind of could sense that in her mannerism, even though she seemed kind of regular. When I say regular, I mean like what I'm used to in America. But I, I sense a difference like, wow, she looked like she could be American physically in the way she dressed. But she was, her response was shocking to me in certain, you know, in certain communications and responses and stuff was, was, was shocking. So I'm just here to say, <laughs> it's a difference. America is, uh, American women, most of them are, c are cursed and it's going to uh, backfire on them. You know, it's the devil. They're allowing the devil to get into their heart and mind. And to tell them, you know, make them feel a certain way towards men, and they gotta control men, or gotta get a man to act like a, like like a woman, or, you know what I mean? You gotta get. They want control. The devil telling them they need to be in control, and that's a, that's a, against. That's an abomination and forbidden against the, the divine order, which is God, man, woman, child, and nations. It's an order. You all one. Same way my head and shoulders and shit. I need my fingers. I need my head. The man is just the head. He get downloaded from God and it goes like that. It's like pyramid. But they don't want to operate. The devil don't want the women to operate like that. And, you know, since everybody got their eyes on America, why not the devil should just say, hey, let me, let me get, let me infiltrate the American women. Then I can infiltrate the world because America is the most powerful nation and most influential. Everybody want to act like Americans. Let me get into the American women and then I can get, I can corrupt the world from there. The, the devil has been around for a thousand years. He's very sneaky. He's very sneaky. Okay. So he knows what's going on. And the only thing I can say is, uh, be careful. Be careful, ladies. Don't let the devil make you miss out on a good man and miss out on trying to, you know, thinking, you know, you're supposed to have sex with all these men and, and thinking you're having fun by traveling the world and taking pictures and showing your body. Ain't nothing wrong with, show, you know, having a nice body and having fun, but don't degrade yourself. Don't get blown out and ran through where the man who end up with you getting leftovers and straps and, you know, getting slops and scraps. Is the man that you end up with, does he deserve your slops and scraps? He love you? Did that, does that mean he love you if he can deal with your slops and scraps? I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's the best way to go about it. I, th I don't think, you know, you should deal with your slops and scraps like that. I think it's best if you get a man while you're young Beyonce did it right. She talked a lot of that independent stuff, but she ended up with a man at an early age. She got several kids now. Well, she got two, three, four kids. So they, you know, Beyonce's smart. She did it the right way. You're supposed to get married to an older guy while you're young, ladies. He can guide you better with wisdom. Choose wisely. I would say choose a godly man. Get a man that's older than you that love you and somebody that you're attracted to. Other than that, you're gonna end up getting ran through. You know what ran through mean? That mean you're, you're getting telegon and you're getting demons from other guys. Your emotions and your mind is all messed up from all them different guys. <laughs> all that sweat and all them different DNA all up in you. All up in you, on your face and your body and your mouth. All right, I got to go. Ooh, the body, boo, 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 boo. Abaka boo boo, abaka boo boo. You don't want to do all that. So save yourself, ladies, for the right man. You know, once you get past one or two bodies, if he's not the one, then you that third body got to be the one. You got to wait until the man is ready. You got to wait until the man show that he's willing to be around you. He want to marry you, and he enjoy himself around you without touching you. Cause, um, and you got to make sure he's single and want to spend a lot of time with you. Because a man can wait all along, forever, as long as he's getting some some cheeks from somewhere else. So he can act like he's waiting, but he ain't waiting. When he's not around you, he's like, yeah, I'm waiting. Yinkum, 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 yinkum.
I'm Alan Rillionaire. Follow me on Instagram at Alan Rillionaire Show. Everything you need is in the description box. So if you want a consultation with me on Alan Rillionaire Show, let me know you want to, on the Instagram, Alan Rillionaire Show, let me know you want um, a consultation, you want me to promote something, or you want my latest book, The Blueprint, Man's Guide to Conquering Heartless, Selfish, and Controlling Women. Let me know you want that book, okay? And uh, we can work something out. Uh, you only can get that book from me. You want me to promote something, let me know. And also the book, it does cost. So those of you who have been asking me how you can donate, the, the, the Cash App and the PayPal is in the description box. You definitely want to press like, subscribe, and follow, and watch the next video because the next video is the video that you've been waiting for. Watch the whole video. What you've been waiting for is in that next video. So make sure you watch the whole video all the way through, okay? Hey, much love to you. Stay prayed up. In Jesus' name, I'm out.